Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil, and in this React JS video tutorial, we will learn about controlled components. So let's get started with the points of this video. First of all, we will learn what is a controlled component in a theoretical manner. Then we will make a component, and we will convert this component to the controlled component. And uh, I will provide you the answer of my previous video's question. And again, I will ask you one more question. You can attempt this question in a comment box if you want. And this is my Instagram account. If you just want to join me there, right? So see, components can be handled by in the two ways. One with the control, and another one is the uncontrolled. Whenever you will learn about a uncontrolled or controlled component in React JS, that simply means inside our components we have some input fields, right? it might be only one input field or might be more than one input field and when we will just handle these input fields with the help of react state then we call them controlled component and when we handle them with directly with the dom then we call them uncontrolled component so example of uncontrolled component it's like uh, handling a uh, input with the ref or in a jquery you can just uh, put a id to any uh, input field and get uh, its value right and similarly you can get uh, uh, an input box value with the in javascript with the help of get element by id these are the three uncontrolled uh, component example and we will learn uncontrolled example in a detail in the next video right so what is a controlled component they are simple component that can handle by the react state right and i will show you that how we can handle with the react state so now this is my output screen and uh, this is my app.js component i am just going to make a, comp a input field here right like uh, type can be a text right so in this component we have a input field but still this is not a controlled component or either a uncontrolled component right so now how we can make it with the control component when the value of this component will be handled by a state now you can see that this is a free state we can put anything inside it right but if you just say let uh, directly put here a value like this 100 right and now if you want to change it you can't change it right this is you can say that a kind of constant uh, or a disabled uh, input field right you cannot change any value you can try with the backspace and all right so what i'm just going to do i will handle this value with the help of state right and after that let's say i just want to print this value or i would just want to uh, send this value to the database then i can do all these things with the state so now let's import a use state use state hook right and uh, just put here const well and basically this is a destructuring of use state set well and destructuring of use state simply means use state uh, use state and some default value let's say there is a no default value for a moment and now I am just going to put here value equal to well, right? And uh, now you can see that even you cannot put any value to inside, inside it, right? Because you can be just enter some value inside it only whenever you will just update the state, right? Because there is a no value for a state at, the, at that moment. So that we can just use here on change event. And here just use any arrow function and just write here set value in the set value on our own change on change will be called whenever you will just enter any key in this input so just put here a e parameter here and set value e dot target target means uh, uh, the element that we are just uh, talking about or uh, on we are just changing the key dot value right now on every key the state will be updated with the e dot target dot value and this value will be updated here here you can see that this is working great right 
with that way we can just make it a controlled component even we can use uh, multiple fields also like uh, just add one more field and uh, take one more state here like uh, let me just put this name item set item and uh, just put a value in item and uh, update it with the set item right and uh, everything will be work fine in both of states this is working fine this is working great all right so with uh, that way you can just make your component controlled and what is the benefit of doing this so at that time you don't need to just uh, make a complete form and make a submit button and uh, get the value by id or by the reference kind of things right so this is pretty simple and uh, uh, even just just remove me one field so that i can just uh, show you everything in a simple way right so let's say you just want to print this value or get this value how you can get it just simply put here uh, let's say let me just write here h1 tag and just put here its value like well whenever you will just write something here like anil sidhu this value is actually printing here right it's working like a two-way binding in angular right so that's simple way to control uh, our input fields with the state and that we called it controlled component if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and uh, like this video value and in last video i asked that how we can use a forward ref with the uh, class component this is still as similar as in functional component you just need to make a wrapper react dot forward ref with the uh, class component also and it will work fine right for uh, this video i have a question um as you can see that this is our functional component so can we use this uh, controlled component functionality inside a class component also if yes just uh, let me know how we can do it and uh, if you still have confusion you can ask me in the comment box and if you need this questions answer read it on a google otherwise you can ask me in a comment box again so don't forget to subscribe my channel like this video bye bye take care god bless you